Hey guys, it's Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with another cue and haircut video. You guys ask the questions, request the haircuts, and I do the haircuts for you. So uh, if you have any haircut ideas, post them in the comments below or use the hashtag on all of our social media, hashtag free salon education, and we'll get those video requests in. Uh, love this video series, having a great time with it. Um, today's question came from Duke Strange. Duke asks uh, to do a boxed bob. So I thought that would be a cool challenge for today, something fun. Uh, a lot of you guys can use the techniques from this video on your day-to-day -day salon life. Um, but I would love to know what you guys think of the video. So post your comments below uh, in the comments. Makes sense. Um, post your comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Hit like on the video, please, and share it with your friends. Here we go. Let's get started on our step-by-step -step boxed bob. All right, guys, so we're going to start off by parting the hair directly down uh, the center, and then we're going to work that down center back, and then I'm going to take my next parting from the high point of the head down to behind the ear. I want to make sure that's a direct straight line. That's going to uh, come in handy when we do the haircut uh, as we move forward. So section both sides off, keeping that center parting. This is a very balanced haircut, so because it's balanced, I want to make sure that I keep that center parting in there. And that's it. That's the sectioning. So again, going back down center back, I'm going to split the head into two sections, uh, completely even sections. And I'm going to work a diagonal forward line uh, parting from the occipital bone to directly behind the ear. And then we're just going to comb that over and clip it away. Same thing on the opposite side, slight diagonal forward, um, leaving out about an inch and a half of hair from the occipital bone down to the nape and combing the hair directly up and clipping it away. Clipping the hair like this makes it easy for me to go in and take another parting and work my way up the haircut. So uh, something to definitely try out if you're not doing it already. Now we're going to go through and I'm just going to draw a straight line across the back. I'm using my blacksmith fit uh, beak scissor. I love this scissor. The, the blade is so skinny that it gets into those nice tight spots. It's the perfect scissor for precision cutting on fine to medium hair. Because the blade is so skinny, um, if you're working with coarser hair, uh, it's going to have a little bit more of a struggle getting through it. So this is a, a very uh, specific scissor for precision cutting on fine to medium hair. Now, uh, I want to check my comb. I want to make sure that, that parting lines up with the, uh, the jawline and where I want the haircut to go. Then I'm going to go through with my blacksmith fit scissor. And this one is a six and a half inch and just working scissor over comb. Uh, fatter blade, longer blade allows me to get better workflow through the back. Now we'll cut that pretty much at a 90 degree. And then we're going to start by... Uh, bringing the hair out and we're going to hold this down. Um, it's a, at about a 45 degree angle um, coming off of the head here. I'll show you the elevation in a little bit, but just working stationary guide, bringing the hair square back to me. So straight back to your chest, your chest should be parallel with the section and over and directing the hair back towards you. Um, taking little sections at a time. Now you're going to notice that I'm going to grab some of the old hair that I cut and then some some of the new hair. So let's say I grab 30% of uh, new hair to 70% guide because I want to make sure I have a thick guide to work from, but I don't want the guide to come from the entire head because the head shape we know shifts. So I want to make sure that I have plenty of, uh, of guideline, but I don't want to stretch that guide up to meet uh, the new hair. If you have questions about that, post them in the comments, but I, uh, hopefully that was clear. Now, we're working across, same, just cutting a square shape in the back. It's real simple. Um, the, the hardest part about it is just staying consistent with it. So I grab my guide from the occipital bone area of the previously cut section. So I'm um, just grabbing a little bit of that, clip the rest away, and then start with my square back line. Just working those half inch partings through the haircut, scooping up some of the old, adding the new, keeping the consistency there.
for me, haircutting is all about kind of like a rhythm through the haircut. So um, I try to stay consistent with the partings, with my body position, with um, you know the way that I cut the hair. Even right before I make the cut, there's certain things that I do. It's it's all about if you can have a rhythm, you can have consistency. So um, just find your flow in a haircut. It's probably not going to be the same as mine. Um, just like mine isn't the same as everyone else's, but you'll find, you just got to find your rhythm in there. All right. And that is our square back. You can see it's a slight elevation, but not a lot. Um, I did the slight elevation because I like having a little bit of a beveled edge to the graduation. If you want it to be completely flat, uh, at zero degree, kind of a zero degree feel, uh, one length feel, I guess would be better to say, um, then you, you just don't do any elevation in there. So that was just going through cross-checking and now we're going to work the side panel. So again, I comb some of the top hair away and, and part it away, and I just work from the bottom section directly behind the ear. That's where I grab my guideline from, and then I bring everything out to me. Slightly elevating again, giving it a nice little beveled edge so it doesn't look too heavy, um, depending on the hair type. Maybe if it was curlier hair, I would, um, I would not elevate it as much. But because it's straight hair, I want to have a little bit of a bevel just to build some more shape into the haircut. There we go. The other thing is I'm not going around the face. I'm over directing it to me to cut that straight line, which is going to push a little extra weight towards the front. We're going to go in and cut that off in the fringe anyways. But um, for it to be a true squared shape, Everything needs to come back to me. You can't round it around the face. Just following those horizontal sections through the horizontal partings. And now we'll blow it dry. Using a flat wrap technique, um, just to get the shape of the head put into the haircut and then we'll go through and iron it really quick. So my big focus with the flat wrap is to get the, um, the basic shape of the head and get the root of the haircut and the root of the hair style to have kind of a flexible feel to it. So there's no calyx, no weird things in the haircut. Then I go through with my iron and I polish the ends. So the blow dry is for the base of the hair. I'm not really focused on the ends. Then I can go through uh, with my Bricado Vibrastrate iron and just polish the ends off. Now I'm going to lift the hair into my comb. I'm back to my Blacksmith Fit uh, 6.5 inch scissor and I'm going to work across to cut the fringe. Holding it in the comb. I like using a comb with a little bit... I don't, you don't want to have too tight of teeth. This is the YS Park 334 comb. I like it. Um, I start off by cutting the line and then I slowly lower the comb, which um, kind of allows me to round off the shape a little bit. I just think it makes it fall a little softer. So as we add the finishing touches to the haircut, just a little bit of detail work in there. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this haircut. We're going to show you the final result at the end. Uh, make sure that you share this haircut with your friends. And if you guys want to see a specific haircut, please post in the comments below and follow us on Instagram and Facebook because we're always looking for new ideas and really to see what inspires you guys and what we can do for you. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Check us out on freesaloneducation.com.